Hi everybody, you've made your mosaic. Now it's time to grab that do or die, that make or break part of the mosaic process. Stay with me and I'm going to show you a few tips. Grouting your mosaic can be the make or break of your piece. It's really hard to choose what color you want to do. When I was doing this, I was pretty sure about the color that I wanted. And as I was mosaicing, I actually did it on the design onto a black sheet of paper. That helped make that decision of color choice a lot easier. If you're not too sure, there are other ways to do that. And that will be in another video. This is going to be my method. They do call it the dry method. So away we go. And I'm going to show you how I go about it. The tools that you will need for this, I'm going to be using Dabco Black Grout. Um, that's my go-to because it's really, uh, it's ready available at Bunnings and I'm in Australia and that's the hardware shop that's the closest to me so it's easy to find. The other thing I'm going to add into this is the Dabco uh, 4-in-1 Grout Additive. What it does, it enhances the colour and it makes the grout impervious, it helps make the grout impervious to water and it makes the grout a little bit stronger. And because I do have some big gaps in this mosaic, that is ideal because grout doesn't like big gaps, it has a tendency to crack. So this grout additive is going to work a treat for my grout. The other thing that I'm going to be using is this trowel. It's a rubber trowel. I love it. I think it's the best thing since sliced bread. I don't use squeegees. This is what I'm going to use and I'll show you why. I'm going to be using toothbrushes to help clean back. I have my socks and they are what I wipe back with. So that's going to be the socks. The sponge, get rid of that. We don't need sponges. Don't like sponges, don't like adding water to my grout because that might compromise my grout. So I'm actually going to not use a sponge and water. Mm. The other thing that I am going to be using is a knife to mix up my work and a dust mask. I've also got my vacuum cleaner and that's gonna help me keep clean. I've also got newspaper to put my mosaic onto and then what else do I have? Um, I said my rubber gloves. I think that's it and we're ready to go. Up. I've got my gloves on. You don't have to wear gloves, but I'm working with black grout and black grout is really, really dirty. So by having gloves, I'm just going to stay a little bit cleaner. I've got my mosaic on the newspaper. That means that the newspaper can be scrunched up and then I can throw it out into the bin. In fact, I've got a fire here, so the newspaper will go into the fire. Um, and I've got my Davco 4-in-1, there it is, grout additive. Now, the 4-in-1 grout additive, as I said, adds strength to your grout. But I do pre-mix it, so what I do is I have it in a jar. That makes it easier. It's equal parts. So, to do this, what I'm going to show you is we're going to have the... I have a little measuring cup here. That's only 30 mil. It's the medicine cups. They're easy to come by. And I basically put in once I get the jar open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in, after I shake this, I'm going to put in two equal quantities of the Dabco four in one grout additive. And then I'm just going to do two water. Give the jar a shake. And as you can see, I have it labelled, so that means I don't get messed up. It also has equal parts, so I know exactly what's in there. So I can take that lid off. Now, how much do I really need? I don't know. So I'm going to do little bits at a time. And the reason is that if I try doing the whole lot at once, I've got a lot of cleaning back that I might need to do. So I'm only going to do half and then I'll do the other half. So I'm going to do about two heaped tablespoons of the Dabco grout. This is where I put my mask on. Now I'm going to start with just the two tablespoons of the Dabco grout additive. Then I will mix it up and see how it goes. 
What I often find with people when they're actually doing this is they end up putting too much liquid, then they've got to put more powder in. So less is best to start with. So mask on. Now, when I look at this, the particles are now all wet, but they're not joining together. They're still really, really crumbly. So I'm going to add another half tablespoon. Now this is really quite wet. It's quite a sloppy, it's not sloppy, but it's getting to that nice texture. And I liken it to icing sugar. So I've now got that which is quite, it's holding on, which is terrific. It's looking great. And mixing with a knife is the best way to go. A lot of people mix with a spoon. It gets caught in there, so don't mix with a spoon, just do the knife. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit for five minutes. It's called slacking. There's going to be a chemical reaction that happens with the grout because the grout is sort of like a cement type mixture. It's not quite cement, but anyway, it's like a cement, so it needs to have a chemical reaction, so we let it sit for five minutes. It sat for five minutes, so I'm just going to give it another mix to make sure it's not too stiff. And that is a great consistency. I don't like my grout too sloppy. If it's too sloppy in those gaps, there is a chance that it could crack. If it's too thick, it won't go into the small gaps. I've got quite a few small gaps in this piece. So now this is a really nice consistency. I can start grouting and I'm gonna move this closer and then you can see what, how I do it, yay! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the whole lot just on here. It's not going to be scraped on, it's just going to be put on like that. So that just sits there. This is the magic. This is a foam trowel. When I use it, I'm going to be using this end and I'm going to push down on that end. If I use, I only use the pointy end for going into little cracks and crevices, but the weight of the trowel is actually on this end. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to push down. So when I'm doing this, I'm pushing down into my mosaic. And as I'm pushing down, I'm squashing all that grout into all those gaps. And the beauty of this squeegee is that I can wipe it back and see what I've actually done. So scrape it back. And even with these pieces that are high and low, being a sponge, it's actually pushing it all into those cracks and crevices. So if I push down, I'm actually getting that grout in there. So give it a bit of a wipe back again. And that is done. What I need to do is allow that to, to dry a little bit. It needs to get a bit of a skim. It might take around about five minutes. After five minutes, I'll come back to it. But while I'm waiting, I'm now going to do the rest of this. So I'm going to mix up another batch, two tablespoons with two and a half of the grout and away we go. Now I can turn this around and let's go again. Now I've mixed up this batch of grout and that's got to slack for the next five minutes. This has now got this skin over it, so I can now start rubbing it back. So let's go. And this is where I do not use the sponge and water. What I'm going to use is my sock. On it goes, and I start rubbing it back. Now I'm going to use another part of the sock, so I'm just going to turn that around and rub again. And you can see with the clean part of the sock, it's becoming cleaner. 
another clean part of the sock, turn it around. And that's looking really, really good. So I can take this off. And now I'm going to use my toothbrush. And this is where I put my dust mask on so I don't create too much dust. And the toothbrush is just to clean up some more of that, just to get it out of the cracks and crevices so I can see these round mirrors. So I'm just trying to get those mirrors round. And there are triangles under here. So I want to get those triangles happening. And that's looking pretty awesome. I'm really, really happy with that. The colors are now really, really popping. So the next thing I'm going to do is give that a quick back. This is looking really good. I am happy with it so far. Now I'm going to do the next session and as the next section, <laughs> And as I said, I do it sections at a time and that means that I don't have to try and do the whole thing at once because that can be really quite difficult. happy with how this is going. It's looking really good. The colors are really popping. The only thing I need to do now is I've got to do the sides. So I have a little bit of grout left over and this is where I actually can use my hands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smear the grout on the sides. That's going to protect the sides of the mosaic. So I just press it on. actually won't stick to the glass so what I'm trying to do is get it in between all those little cracks in there and that will protect the adhesive underneath. Right. The last thing I'm going to do is run my trowel over it and that's just making it nice and thin, getting rid of any excess, making it smooth So this last bit just needs, I'm going to get a clean cloth now because we're ready just to polish this up. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do another check on all of this. So I'm just going to rotate it around to make sure that there is nothing that I've missed. When you look at it from different angles, you will see things that you didn't see the other way. And you need to do all of this now. If you don't do all of this now, this grout is going to dry rock hard. Remember, I put an additive in this, so it's going to be very, very firm. I won't be able to go back into it in an hour's time or half an hour's time. And if I want to, tomorrow I can go over that with methylated spirits just to give it a lovely little buff up. So that is looking pretty good. I've done my mosaic. <laughs> And now it's time to clean up. So thank you for watching. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Mandalas are a great project to do. They just look fantastic. And with this grout, now that it's grouted, all the colors are coming forward and popping. So if you liked what you saw today, could you please hit that like button? Remember to subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Hamwoodot from Handmade Studio Say. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your Mandela's.
Hi everybody and welcome to Handmade Studio. This today I'm going to be doing mosaic. <laughs> what am I doing? Mandalas. Ah. 